Welcome back to Coinsy Welds. Today we're going to be doing a 2G horizontal 7018 electrode weld. 2G position horizontal. The diameter of the rod is a 1 8 of an inch. This is what we're learning in school right now. If you don't already know, my name's Coinsy Welds and I'm on a journey to become a pipe welder. I'm going through the journey of my school right now. We're in Texas. I'm trying to get into that oil field to make the big money. I'm showing you guys step by step how I'm getting there. If you haven't already, hit the like, smash that subscribe. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. 550 subscribers strong. We did do a giveaway at 500. And the winner to that giveaway, his name is... We've already sent out the free t-shirt. Let me know when you get it in the comments below. Anybody else who wants to enter another giveaway, we will be doing one at 1,000 subscribers, okay? So go ahead and hit the like, smash the subscribe. And we're going to be pulling random subscribers that comment two fire emojis on the comments for the next shirt. So stick tuned. Wow, man. Appreciate you guys. We got we reached one milestone at 500 subscribers. And then we reached another milestone when we gained 125,000 views. Again, this is a journey on how I'm going to become a pipe welder. So the first thing I do is I always adjust my workpiece to where I'm going to be comfortable welding. And then I go ahead and observe it. I stare at it, see what I'm going to do first. I prop my electrode. I do a couple air runs. I see how my breath is going to affect my movement. And as soon as I feel comfortable, I wrap my hand around. I hug it, simulating as a pipe. I usually always weld from the electrode going from away to close to me. Like if it was a pipe, pretty much. Or at least that's how I've been taught. And that's what I'm letting you guys know. Because I am currently going through the weld program here in uh, Texas. But yeah what i'm doing here is my root i'm just going ahead and i make sure i'm about one eighth of an inch and i keep a yeah, go slight go. angle going up and look how beautiful that slack peels off on its own we go ahead and we wire wheel that off and this is what my root pass looks like the root pass is pretty much the first pass then i cleaned it so i go ahead and i get to work on the second beat which is a little bit below the first one and it's eating half of the previous beat i always keep that as my rule of thumb i always eat half of my previous beat half of the previous world that i just welded i always try to eat half of it that's just a cool thing that's been working for me and it layers very well especially with the how the schematics is and how you're supposed to layer the welds works for me always eat half the previous beat here's what this looks like again i like to keep about one eighth of an inch away from the material for the most part the 7018 is a drag electrode you just have to make sure your angle is right look at what you're doing see what's going to be the next weld position yourself this is the third weld notice how i'm stacking it on top of uh, my previous bead i always eat half of the previous bead and then when you look at the end keep watching and see how it layers remember it's a third weld so what I'm doing here is I always eat half of my previous beat. That's how I learned how to stack beats. Again, it's horizontal, 7018 electro. It's a drag electro. This coming to the end. This is where it looks like. Go ahead and wire wheel it. Usually you could just use a chipping hammer and a wire wheel. This is what my third weld looks like. A little open in the center. It got a little belly. But you know what? I'm going to keep burning rods. And this is what a couple rods looks like. I believe I'm like on my ninth pass now or layers and this is my last bead after this i'm going to go and see if the instructor is okay with it so i can move on to vertical go ahead and i wire wheel it this is what it looks like what do you guys think comment below you think i'll pass you think he'll let me go to vertical what do you think